guys, it's Lindsay here and welcome back to Inside the Him. I have rearranged things a little bit, um, trying something a little new for my background. Um, not sure if I'm going to stick with this or anything. Still have everything set up with the like floral wallpaper. Just feeling something new today. You know how it is. It's the end of the year and you're thinking about the new year and maybe just trying new things is top of mind. Um, but we are here today to talk about my 2017 favorites. These are all my favorite things from the entire year. Um, these are items that I am 90% sure I've already covered in a monthly favorites video, but I thought it would be cool to go back, um, kind of reevaluate those and tell you guys what made the cut for like the, the all time favorites for the year. Sometimes favorites are like a flash in the pan. You know, they're like really awesome for that month and then they kind of like fade away for various reasons. But these things that I wanna share with you today are all tried and true. I use them very often, if not every single time I sew and just reach for them and love them. And if anything ever happened to them, I would absolutely replace them. So they are just like the ultimate favorites. Um, so first on the list is Wonder Tape. Um, Wonder Tape is wonderful. Um, I've used this the most for zippers. So um, it's basically two-sided tape. So you peel this away from the roll and you lay it down on the right side of your fabric and then you apply your zipper tape, I'm sorry, and then you um, peel this little backing off and then you lay your zipper tape on top of it and it just keeps everything in place. Like when I'm making a dress like this that has like so many stripes, um, getting the zipper and all those stripes um, matched up across the center back seam is like impossible if you don't have something to help you. And I found that when I use Wonder Tape and I use it correctly, I get the zipper in and the stripes matched up the very first time. It's actually kind of amazing. But it washes out of the garment um, once you wash it the first time so it's not permanently in there like glue or something. And I've never ever had an issue with my um, needle gunking up or anything. It's I don't know what exactly it is but it's just amazing. Um, it's very pliable whenever you get the um, backing off of it. Um, it's just really, it's not super tacky, but it's just tacky enough to kind of hold everything together um, temporarily while you get um, a basting stitch in on your sewing machine. I don't usually use pins um, whenever I use Wonder Tape. It holds kind of that well. Um, but honestly, I can't imagine putting in a zipper even when you have like seam lines like you need to match up your waist seam um, I'll use Wonder Tape to help me with that um, it just I don't know it just holds everything exactly where it needs to be and it never ever ever shifts or moves around or anything and I just can't imagine installing a zipper with any horizontal matching of any kind whether that's the fabric or seam lines or anything. Um, if you have like a slippery finicky fabric that you need to match like side seams um, or complicated you know seaming this would also be really great for that. Um, yeah I just really love it. I will replace it over and over again and continue to use it but I will say even just this one little roll has lasted me I mean, maybe like six months and I put invisible zippers in everything. Like I don't do regular zippers ever. Um, so yeah, Wonder Tape. It's wonderful. Um, the next thing on the list is, this is Julie's Picks. I'm trying to show anything. This is January's Julie's Picks. Um, Julie's Picks is a monthly... I guess kind of like fabric catalog, I don't know how else to explain it, um, that you pre-purchase at the beginning of the year or the end of the previous year. Um, it's $50 and every month they send you, I mean, this one has what, how many pages? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, but they've had up to like eight or 10 before of different swatches of fabrics. And these are all fabrics that Julie or someone at Fabric Mart is personally sourcing, I think in New York City, um, where they hit the streets, go to the fabric shops, go to the places that do the wholesale, and they are buying fabric at a really great rate, um, and then sending it out to us in these little swatches so you can actually touch it, feel it, see it, you know, everything. Um, and then you get to buy it at like a pretty good rate. Um, a lot of the fabrics in the January one are like $5. Um, there's some in here that are like, you have to buy a pre-cut amount but it's like four yards for $10. Um, and they're really great fabrics like chalets and wools and um, poplins and shirtings and you know all natural gar uh, fabrics, all natural fibers um, at just like really, really good prices. And the patterns are, the, not the patterns, but like, you know, the design of the fabric is usually really cute. I don't love everything that is sent here, but, um, but yeah, I really love getting this every month. And people are always asking me on the channel about fabrication and how to know which fabrics to use for which patterns. And honestly, the way that I learned to do that was a lot of trial and error. And the like turning moment, the tipping point for me was when I went to New York City for the first time and I started going to these fabric shops where the it wasn't necessarily labeled um and i could just touch and feel and see the drape of things and it just really helped me kind of escape that crutch of the um suggestions on the back of a pattern and and feeling like i had to be pigeonholed into using something like that um so this is a great way to do that too i mean there are hundreds of fabrics in here and like I said, you can touch them, you can, you know, see the drape that they have, you can, you know, they do have the um, fabric type mention, like the percentages of cotton and lycra, you know, whether it's a sateen or a chalet or, you know, whatever it is. So you can start to learn um, about fabrics in that way. They do also have pattern suggestions to go with a handful of the fabrics that are in here. Never actually made something that they suggested, but um, it can be very, very helpful if you are new to sewing or new to garment sewing and you're wanting to make sure that the fabrics you're buying are gonna look good in the particular pattern that you're trying to make. Um, like a dress like this made out of chalet might be a little bit tricky, um, but when you make it out of a sateen or something a little bit more structured, you know, it holds itself, it holds it, the pleats well, you know, and it just looks, there's just a big difference in a garment that's made out of the right fabric. So, like I said, Julie's Picks is awesome. This is my second year I've already purchased for 2018, which is why I have January's, obviously. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what comes. It's like a fun little Cersei in the mail every month. Even if I don't buy anything, just touching the fabrics and flipping through them all and seeing them all is a thrill in and of itself. And then when you find something and then you see what great price it is, um, it's even better. So it's the gift that really keeps on giving. I love Julie's picks so much. Okay, next up we have, okay, this is something that I acquired in 2017. And I know that not everybody has the luxury of doing this, but if you do, in any shape or fashion, I highly recommend it. And that is a dedicated sewing space. It has truly changed the way that I sew, the amount that I sew, um, the quality of the garments that I'm able to make. It's really changed everything about my sewing. Um, so like I said, I know not everybody has like a spare bedroom, but if you've got a little corner or if you've got, you know, a closet that you can convert or by all means, if you have a spare bedroom that like your husband's using for his office or something, make a deal and see if you guys can share it. I don't know what your situations are, but I promise you 
having a dedicated sewing space will make 2018 just the most amazing year you've had sewing. I've only had this dedicated space for, like since July, so I guess that's like five months. And I just love it. I, I just love working in here. I love coming in here. I like taking care of the space in here. Um, yeah, it's just been really, really wonderful. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention it in the yearly favorites video because it's been awesome. It's just been really great. I'm truly blessed to be able to have this and um, I, you know I really want it for all of you guys too. I want everyone to have their own space because it's just been just awesome. It's just awesome. So little kind of side note there on that one. But um, okay so where are we? The fourth one is the bobbin saver. So as you know, I held out on getting one of these for years. I don't know why. A lot of you might already have this because it is kind of like a basic notion at this point, but I didn't have one. I got it a few months ago and I don't know how I ever live without it. Every other bobbin holder container thing is like a zero compared to this. This is a 10 and everything else is a zero. Nothing compares. That's a really good song. <laughs> But truly, nothing compares to this thing. It's just great. It just works and it's simple and easy to use and I have no issues with it. Like, literally, there are no flaws whatsoever to the bobbin saver. This is a perfect item. Um, besides the fact that it keeps all of them in, see how none of them are like falling out. It keeps the threads from unwinding. Like there are some threads that are sticking out, but they don't, like you can tell, that's like hard to pull. You know what I mean? Um, so they're not going to come unwound. Um, you can see your entire collection. Um, I even put like empty ones in here so um, I know where those are as well. I could probably actually use a second one. So if you don't have a bobbin saver yet, I don't know what else I can tell you to convince you to go get one because it truly, truly is that awesome. You need this. Whoever invented this, whoever's manufacturing this, you win at life because this is this is one of those things that I will never ever live without. So when the holidays came around, I was like really inspired to make home decor for the holidays. So I made a few things specific to Thanksgiving um, and to Christmas and it was just really fun to kind of decorate the space in little ways. Um, with things that I had made myself. Um, so I had to put the maker in here because it is really an awesome like complimentary tool to the home sewist. And for what it's worth, if you do have children or you're into making accessories, you can use the maker to make garments as well. Um, I just don't make things that are where the pieces are only so big. Um, but you can, if ever that happens for me <laughs> or something, I don't predict it, but um, you know, I could, and that's also awesome. So Cricut Maker is number five. And then number six is the Dritz Elastic Threaders. These things are, they blow my mind. I remember the first time that I used one, I thought, my life will never be the same. Um, basically, you when you need to elasticize a waistband or an ankle or a cuff or a neckline or anything, when you're putting elastic through a casing, um, you basically thread it through the end of this thing and so your elastic's hanging off the end here and you put this end into the casing first and feed it all the way around whatever it is you're doing. And yes, we have all been using um, safety pins to do this for years and years and years and it does the trick and it works but I can't tell you how much faster and more efficient this is because this little thingamajig is the same width as your casing so there's different sizes of these um, and you use the right size for whatever your elastic is and this little end is tapered just enough um, to get it through the fabric and more importantly get it around the side seams. You know how there's like fabric folded within the casing and the side seam and your safety pen 
inevitably always gets stuck over and over and you're like shoving it in and you can't figure out like you're trying to wiggle it around and wiggle it through and try and find the perfect little avenue to, to get the safety pin through this that hardly ever happens with this and also because this is so long you never lose you never like let go of it on accident how many times have you like let go of the safety pin and then you lose like inches and inches of all of that like um threading that you had done so annoying but that never happens with these ever never ever happens um so they're really inexpensive they're a very simple concept um but they really do make a huge difference whenever you're elasticizing things so if you're sewing up casings and you're putting elastic in them whether it's for women's clothes children's clothes home deck stuff whatever it is you need to get these elastic threaders so that's it. Those are my top six items from the entire year of 2017. Um, and I can't wait to see what I discover in 2018. Um, so let me know what your one favorite, your absolute favorite from the entire year of 2017 is in the comments. I'm hoping that maybe I've never heard of it before or I don't have it or never tried it. Um, and that'll give me some things to try out for 2018. But um, with that, oh, before I forget, all of the items that I mentioned today, there are links in the description box below. Here's how you access the description box if you've never done it before. There's a way to do it on mobile and a way to do it on desktop. So find the description box and you'll see all the links there. I almost always have like, not almost, I definitely always have information in the description box in all of my videos. So just learn how to do this and check it every single time I post a video, you'll get to see, you know, information on what I'm wearing. Um, you'll get to see um, links to the products that I mentioned. There's always like tons of goodies in there. So check out the description box. Um, go buy up any of these things that you don't have, like not even a suggestion, it's a command. If you don't have any of the things I've mentioned in this video, find a way to go get them. <laughs> including that sewing space, the dedicated sewing space. I want to see how you've converted a closet. That would just make my life if I saw that you were able to eke out some little space like underneath your bathroom sink or something. I don't know, somewhere random. But um, but yeah, okay. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.